Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the craziest videos I'm ever going to create on this channel. Today, like you guys can tell, we are back here with an Attack on Titan VR. But boys, it has been so long since the last time I've actually went and covered this game. It's probably been almost, almost two years since I've like actually fully played Attack on Titan VR. And let me tell you, they have done some insane work in terms of like what's to come and the future of this game. Something that I haven't seen before until just recently is the fact that this VR game has ray tracing. And you heard that right. Ray tracing is in this game and it works incredibly well. I'm actually blown away with how well the ray tracing actually works within this game and also the performance of utilizing DLSS support. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll go and run through this like very, very quickly. So in our options, there's a video setting that NVIDIA graphics cards can actually use called DLSS. This is basically AI generated frames that help your game perform a little bit better than what it would normally do without it. So just to show you how smooth it is with this, Watch what happens when I turn this off with ray tracing. So like you guys can already tell without DLSS, the game is running a little bit choppy and I'm getting a ton of screen tearing. But once I go and throw this right back on, as you guys can see, I can go throw DLSS right here. We'll go to auto and instantly look at the performance change while we're on this. And honestly, one of the coolest parts about the game, I don't know if this was intentional, but when you load into the open world, you spawn right next to the tree. And I don't know if this is just like paying homage to the actual anime where like Mikasa and Eren are like waking up next to the tree. But seriously, if that's what they were trying to go for, that is such a small little touch that I absolutely love. And just playing this game already makes me want to go and rewatch the entire series because it's been a long time since I've went and seen like the first few seasons of the actual show. And another really cool part about this game is the fact that you can actually ride the horses here within it bro it just feels really weird to be able to do this in vr and not to mention like how good it actually looks with like the ray tracing and everything but like you guys can tell we are going right up to wall maria oh dude this is seriously nuts i wish there was a way to actually like change the artifacting with like some of like the the terrain that's happening here but in the same way the game does oh i need to slow down okay we're in the horse stable. Let's go and hop off this bad boy because I honestly don't know if I should go and bring him in. But, dude, this is ridiculous. Just look at the scalability of this thing. And we already got our ODM gear, so I'm feeling pretty confident, like, walking into this. But my only concern is the fact that this is legit a open world of the game. And I wonder if, like, Titans are just going to, like, spawn on their own or if I actually have to do that myself. I'm really curious to see how this entire mode works. But I guess just right off the beginning of this video, let's go and check out how the ODM gear feels in this new build, bro. Because it has been so long since I've actually gone and done this. So I got to get used to a lot of this movement once again. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, we are feeling mighty, mighty fine, boys. Holy crap, dude. And the lines look so much better than what they did, like, before. Like, they feel a lot, like, a lot smoother. This is crazy. Let's get a backflip. Oh, this might be bad, though. Come on. Ooh, I went and smashed right into that building. Okay. And there we go. A little bit of a rough landing. But for our first time back, I am more than happy with the way that turned out. But guys, let me just say the game looks so much better than what it originally did when I first played this. I don't know if you guys remember like my first Attack on Titan VR is crazy or whatever the title was for that video. But man, it is night and day with the quality difference here on PC VR. I wonder how it actually looks on Quest and like how they actually utilize the quality on there. Cause man, this game just overall is so incredibly well done and I just, oh my gosh, and I just love it. I almost just <laughs> fell to my death. I definitely need to go and get a little bit more practice done with the game here. Cause boys, my ODM gear is feeling a little bit rough. I'm not meeting like the game itself. I'm meeting just like my skill, bro. It has been so long since I've actually played with like this movement. So I need to figure this out as we kind of go and talk through this video. And also, if you do want to go and try out this game yourselves, I will be leaving a link down in the description below. As many of you guys know, this is free to play. So as long as you have a VR set, you are able to go and play Attack on Titan VR, the fan-made game. 
literally today. And if you guys have PC VR, I definitely recommend trying it out with the ray tracing, man. Because this is seriously just freaking wild how this all works. Another really cool feature about this game is the fact that they incorporated rolling and also flipping within the game. So if I go and like jump off of this house, you can notice I can actually just lean back and do backflips. Or on top of that, if I want to go and do rolls, I can also go and fling myself up. So I'll just actually go over here. And if I tilt my head, I can roll within the game. This is such a cool mechanic in VR because a lot of games stray away from that just for the sake of motion sickness. But Attack on Time VR, man, they go all in with it. And I just cannot say how freaking happy I am to go and experience something like this, bro. Because this is the dream game for me in virtual reality. It is so freaking amazing to be able just to go and fly around with the ODM gear. Literally use the gas canisters and like boost myself super fast throughout the map. And just seriously have a great time here on the game, bro. I could sit and just play with the movement for so long and be so incredibly happy. But I need to go and run through some of the other really great features that they went and added into this new build. And now to get to the best part of the game, which is going to be the actual Titan spawning for Attack on Titan, baby. I am so ready to go and try this out because it has been so long since I've even sliced one nape here within this game, bro. I am so stoked. And I just need to get this movement down, bro. Because like I said, guys, it has been so long since the last time I've actually even played. So I'm hoping I'll actually be able to at least get a few Titans on this. Because, man, I am going to be rough and I guarantee it. But let's go and pull out the backpack and see if we can go and spawn in just even like one or a few Titans. Because we're definitely going to need to start off a little bit easy. So let's go and start off with like, I don't know, maybe two of them right over here. Okay, looks like we got a mini and a regular. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the mini and then work our way over to the other Titan. So let's just try to go and get his attention. If I can just go and like grapple over, we should be able to go and get his legs. Oh, he's already over here. Okay, we might actually want to start with the abnormal. Oh my gosh, dude, he is a big boy. I did not think he was that fast. So we're going to have to go right back and see if we can maybe try to get a different angle on this guy as well. So you know what? I think I'm just going to go and go right in, grab his legs. And we'll go right back with our grapples as well. Will I be able to go and reverse? Ooh, I might not be able to get this. Let's try to go up. It's been such a long time since I've played this, bro. I am such a noob. I feel so freaking rough with all of this. But we're going to be able to get this other Titan too. So we already got the mini. But he is running on top of the buildings, it looks like. Okay, so we're going to have to go back this way and see if I can try to readjust for the situation. So it looks like we got one of the Titans just sitting like right over in that courtyard. So if I can just go and swing right by, I might be able just to go and zip right over and see if we can maybe land right on his little stupid face, bro. Let's go and swing right back. And actually, ooh, I'm going way too fast. Try to go for his legs. Beautiful. Okay, let's try to go back in. Oh, here we go. Perfect shot. Nice. Okay, that was a clean freaking cut, baby. Definitely not my best work, but hey, it was something, man, and I am just happy that we were able to go and get rid of both of those Titans and make it out alive. But, oh my goodness, I am speeding. I almost went crashing right into that building, bro. Holy crap. Ooh, I might go right back into it again. And also, another thing I need to go and face within this game is going against the female Titan. Because I noticed they had added that in in like a pretty earlier build, but I just never had the chance to go and fight her. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try to spawn her in and see if we can maybe go and destroy her ba -dun 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 -dun. female titan oh my god and she is a gigantic fool oh will she actually stop me oh my god oh that's bad oh she just like drop kicked me in midair did you see that <laughs> she legit hit me in midair okay so she actually blocks her neck when I go for that shot. So I need to go and get out of there because she had the nape covered, but she's looking a little bit weak. She just went for a freaking punch, dude? Okay, wait a minute. So this is actually like a full out like boss fight. I wonder if I can actually go and still get the legs. Let's try to go for the legs. Oh, I got stomped. Oh my goodness, I am a dead man. That was super fast. So Annie's a little bit tough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the real madness begins here within the Attack on Titan fan game. I am so excited for you guys to see what's in store because dudes, this is probably the best part about this entire update within the game. And it's not the horse, okay? I'll, I'll go and get that out of the way right off the bat. It's not the horse that makes us the best update, but let me show you what's about to happen so let's go and hop off the horse here unfortunately enough the horse is probably going to uh 
probably gonna die with what's about to happen. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go and open up the backpack, and as you guys saw before, there were the Pure Titans, the Female Titans, the Colossal Titan, and then also right under that is the Rumbling. So without further ado, let's go and spawn this in and see what it does here within the map. Oh. My. God. Do you see how freaking large this thing is? This is ridiculous! The scalability of it right now! Can I even, like, go and clip onto it? Like, this city is huge, dude. I hope you guys understand, like, how big this place actually is. And the fact that it's, like, so much bigger than everything here, that says something, man. Like, what? And you can actually fully interact with all this, too? Can I even reach that? Oh, come on. I need to reach this. Let me up. Oh, baby. Dude, all this is interactable. You have to be joking me. What? Oh, I might die here. Oh, crap. Okay, I need to make sure not to fall. I want to go and, like, run over to all the Colossals, dude. This is ridiculous. What? So he has a full rumbling event here within the game. You cannot be serious, bro. And this thing's huge. Also, not to mention, it looks like it actually destroyed the walls within the map, too. And it's spawning regular Titans within it, too? Oh, now that's a really cool way to go and incorporate this. So not only does it just go and spawn Eren here, but it also spawns in all the other Titans as well. Dude, this is nuts. Like, just look at how long he is, bro. Oh my goodness. This is seriously ridiculous. Dude, this man is cruising. Do you see this? This man just zooming around. And also, the Titans are going and running towards the city. That is so freaking cool, man. Okay, let's see if I can actually just go and tackle his legs and get him out of here. All right, please. Can I just go and get... <gasps> I'm going right into his butt. Oh, God. Oh, actually, you know what? This might work. Okay, let's go right back. Beautiful, dude. Oh, that felt so freaking satisfying. Okay, we got a lot of Titans that are all spawned in from the rumbling. This is ridiculous, dude. Can I just go right back in? Get his legs? Beautiful. And then I just need to find a way to get back up to you. It's been a while. Nice, dude. That was insanely clean. I haven't done this, like, a really good cut like that in a long time, dude. That felt really satisfying. Okay, let's go in and get this little abnormal out of here, too. And we should be able just to just go right up. We'll take that one. Beautiful. And then I just need to go right... Oh, this man is just sliding. Do you see that? Okay. You... Oh, wait, what? Oh, we gotta go. Holy crap. I didn't think he was still alive. Okay, let's go right back up. Boom, baby. It feels so weird to actually be using the actual lines with the ODM gear a lot more than the gas. Because in the old build, if you guys remember, I used to rely a lot on the gas compared to going and using the lines as much. But this is really, really nice, dude. The only thing is about the rumbling, though. There is a ton of Titans coming in. Holy crap, do you see all of them? Okay, my blades need to be ejected. Because I made a mistake on accidentally using those too much. And we'll go right up. Boom, baby! Okay, that felt super, super good. Oh, but I took a lot of fall damage there. Let's bring out this Titan as well. Oh, you guys are going down, baby. Yes, dude! Okay, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with this, man. It's a little bit harder to actually go and take out all these Titans in all the flat, like, the flat planes here. I'm so used to, like, going and grappling on the buildings. But in the same way, this is a really cool way to go and interact with all the enemies here. This is super, super sick. Okay, let's go back in. Make sure this guy does not chop me here. Okay, awesome. Boom, baby! Okay, we're feeling good. I'm liking this. I think I might actually be able to go and position this right. Come on. Oh, wait, I flew into his butt and died? That was by far one of the worst ways to go out. Well, in that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to make it for this video here on Attack on Titan VR. There are so many Titans that just spawned in from the rumbling, so I think it's probably a good point to go and end the video here. If you do want to go and download the game, I'll be leaving a link down in the description below for both Quest and also PC VR. But other than that, guys, that's be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, keep it toasty, my friends. Latest! I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I would have no. died! Well, right no, here. No. No. <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!